Say hi from Challenge Math. This is the question for today. An isosceles triangle is inscribed in a circle, and each of the sides length is labeled accordingly. O is the center of the circle. Find the value of its radius. Let me label this triangle A, B, C. This is the first method that I'm going to use to solve the problem that involves cosine rule and circle theorem. And I use no Pythagoras theorem at all. For this first method, let's begin with finding the angle theta. To find this angle theta, I'm going to use the cosine rule, which is 6 square equal 5 square plus 5 square minus 2 times 5 times 5 times cos theta. And I rearrange by making cos theta as the subject. That turns 50 minus 36 divided by 50. And the value of the cos theta is the inverse of cos 7 divided by 25. In the next step, I'm going to make two lines connecting from O to A and O to the B. And these are the radius of the circle. Now, I want to find what is the value of AOB, which is this part that I'm pointing at. This angle is twice of the value of the theta, simply because it is subtended from the arc of AB to the center that shows twice the angle of the theta. So I'm going to use to multiply with cos inverse 7 over 25. In the next step, I'm going to solve for the value of the R by using the cosine rule again. And that's referring to the triangle of AOB now the triangle of AOB. I'm going to use the cosine rule here. That turns 6 square is equal to the R square plus R square minus 2 times R times R again and times cos with this angle. 2 times the cos inverse 7 over 25. Let me rearrange this to become 2r square minus 2r square. And I'm going to take up this part. is equal 36. Now, by making R the subject, that would be R squared equal 36 divided by 2 minus 2. And I'm going to take out this part again. So, if I try to make R the subject here, that eventually turns square root on the right hand side. And the answer that I'm getting here from the calculator is 3.125 units for the radius. That's the answer for this question. Now, come back to the same question here that I'm going to use the second method to solve a problem. So far, this second method is the most preferred method by all students. In the beginning, I'm going to draw a line in the green color connecting from the top point C until the midpoint of the AB here. And I label this in the green color. I'm going to find the distance of 
C to the midpoint of AB, the value here is 4. And how I get a 4? I'm getting it from this part, which is 3. By using 6 divided by 2, I got 3. And here is 4, simply because I'm going to use the theorem. I get 4. The smaller angle that I'm pointing here is at the right angle. And for this length, this length, it will be 4 minus r. And again, I'm going to apply Pythagoras theorem on this smaller triangle on the left hand side. And that turns r square is equal 4 minus r square up the thing plus 3 square. Now, let me expand the thing here. r square is equal 16 minus 8r plus r square plus 9. R square, I can drop it here. 8R is equal 25. So the value of R here is in fact, I think I got it, 3.125 units. And we solved the puzzle. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.